All right, guys. This is Butch. I am here at the Country Squire. We are trying to shoot a video. And between me and whoever else, we haven't been able to start it. So I decided that I would just start it and see what happens. You can see all those tobaccos in the back, hand blended by John David, who's Hi. now here with us. <laughs> hey, I got something for you. How are y'all? What do you have? First of all, hello everyone out there, all hey, our guys. friends. Yeah, good to see you again. Yeah. I'm look. Anyway, knock knock. Who's there? Control freak. This is the part control. where you say control freak. Who? <laughs> <laughs> say it now. Say it now. <laughs> say it now. <laughs> No, not like that. Not like that. <laughs> oh my gosh! All right. He, Butch is always good for good for a joke, and it doesn't matter. I mean, it, sometimes they're corny, but you want that. Sometimes you want that. What does he mean by that? What do you mean by that? I'm what'd good you, for a joke. What'd you tell? What'd you tell earlier? Something about the girlfriend. Say, tell. Oh, me. I had this girlfriend one time. Yeah. She called me a jerk. I said I've been called worse. She said what? I said your boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to use that next time I get in an argument with a woman. <laughs> okay, but listen to what really happened. It'll be like in, you know, this is today. A few minutes, yeah. <laughs> Countdown. So this really happened to me. Hmm. I was grading papers, and I came across uh, this guy, John, had completely copied everything off of Tim's paper. Okay. So I called John up, and I said, John, you completely copied everything off of Tim's paper. All your answers are the same except number 14. And he said, well, what did Tim put down for number 14? I said, he put down, I don't know. He said, what did I put down? I said, me neither. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm pretty sure you copied. That's fantastic. Okay. That's really good. Joking aside. Well, we're glad to have another uh, edition this week of our YouTube. Whatever. Our YouTube channel. Fun. Chat. Chat. Fire, our fireside chat. Smoke, mm. smoke side chat. Smoke side chat. Ooh. Franklin Roosevelt would be proud. Maybe that's a thing. A smoke side like chat. I kind of like that. I like we'll, that we'll too. Work on that. Yeah. I like that. We'll work on that. But yeah, uh, we go ahead. Wanted to come back this week and kind of you know just update you. Of course, we've got our great contest going on. Um, and for those of you uh, that aren't aware, we've got a, a contest going on where if you share our YouTube video, uh, like us on Facebook, and then um, subscribe to subscribe. our YouTube video. Uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Yeah, which um, is Country Squire Tobacconist. Country Squire Tobacconist, that's right. And if you'll uh, go to our uh, Facebook, which is um, country. The Country Squire <laughs> Tobacconist. <laughs> so this is what you do. <laughs> Let me start over. Sorry. If, if you've watched a few videos, you know that Butch and I are extremely ADHD. And so there's a lot of this kind of uh, shiny red ball thing going on. Right. Anyway. Um, so anyway, subscribe to the YouTube channel, uh, which is... Country Squire Tobacconist. Like us on Facebook, which is the Country Squire Tobacconist, um, and then share uh, this video in some social media setting. So either on YouTube or share it through Facebook or something like that. Um, and then, it, and then this is key: you have to message us to let us know that you've done those things. Okay, so we can go check and see where you've done those things. And then once that's taken place, then you'll enter in our contest. And our contest, it's a good contest, Butch. I mean, this is like, we're giving away legit stuff. Our number one prize is this shiny, brand new, near up classic pipe that retails for $125. Isn't that pretty? It's got, in, in that class, in, you know, just real regular uh, kind of Petter Jefferson way, he leaves the grain visible. Let's see if you can see that grain. The grain is visible through the sandblast there. Just such a beautiful pipe. Um, so anyway, but that's a $125 value. This is first prize. Um, and so we will be drawing for this. And the, the second and third prize people also get something as well. And uh, second place is four ounces of tobacco. Yep. And you get to pick uh, anything we have here at the shop. Um, and then the third place is two ounces of tobacco. You also get to pick anything at the shop. So. Um, we're excited, man. It's good. It's it's great. Yep. We've had a whole lot of interest, and in you guys need to enter because I have friends. Yeah, y have you entered? No, that's not fair. I'm not gonna <laughs> enter. <laughs> anyway, so we're really excited. If you have any questions, let us know. But like us on uh, Facebook, share us on YouTube, subscribe to us on YouTube, 
and then uh, let us know that you've done those things. Easy. No VRs. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to send anything in. Not at all. The good thing is, if you've already liked us, if you've already done those things, like in the past, liked us and subscribed to us. Like even a year ago. Even a year ago. Yeah. We've done something like this before. Then uh, just share the video again. Share this video again, and then let us know you've done that. And yeah. you could still be in the contest. Yeah. So it's Easy. not just for new people. Right. It's so. for everybody. Mm -hmm. Thanking everybody, old and new. That's right. For following and putting up with our mess. That's right. That's right. So, but we're excited. We yeah. have a lot of entry. We do, and we appreciate you guys. We really do. It means a yeah. lot. Yeah. It means a lot. A little shop like this, you know, um, that's that's in, it's interesting because we we make it through friends. You know, we make it through people that have been with us and just understood kind of our commitment to them and the relationships that we've built, and you know. That's you know, just word of mouth. I mean, that's how that's how we that's how we do it. It's all how we've done it for forty five years now. Golly. So, um, anyway, I, it means the world when y'all you know you know talk about us, share us, um, and uh, and interact with and us. order stuff and and order stuff. You know, occasionally you want to do that. <laughs> yeah, every once in a while. <laughs> so anyway. So um. But that's the contest. Yeah, good. That's a great contest. I'm yeah, looking. Good. I'm looking forward to winning it. Man, that's a legit pipe. Look at that. I know that's it. Awesome. It's great. That'd look really good in my house. Oh yeah. Um, so one of the things that keeps people coming back to the Country Squire mm -hmm. is the hand, hand blended, yeah, hand, hand blended, blended tobaccos. tobaccos. And actually, I was looking at some old videos from like a year ago, not quite a year ago, but last summer. And there's one of you just standing there blending the tobacco. Yeah. And um, you know, I could do it too, except I wouldn't make anything that tasted or smelled good. <laughs> well, you might. I mean, maybe not at first. Yeah. It, it's an art, though. It's, it's a lot art. of fun. Yeah, it, 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 it's a learned thing. You, you know, have to all learn. The, yeah. All the different blends have their, or all the base tobaccos have their own characteristics. They all burn differently. They all have different levels of nicotine and heat and all that kind of stuff. So, um, you know, as you're learning, you, you kind of figure those things out, and then when they are put together, you, you get something interesting. Right. And what we have today is something very interesting. That has been here. Has it been here since the shop opened? It has been here for probably forty-three or forty-four years. Okay. Um, uh, what led up to this is Eastern Gray. Hey, on Cape Cod, wow. somewhere on Cape Cod, yeah. Eastern Gray. Uh, great laid-back kind of guy. Uh, asked if we would do a review on Cherokee. And, and it's Cher kind of embarrassing that we haven't yet, because I mean it's our best seller. I don't know what to say to that because we should have done it. It should have been the first one. <laughs> it should have been the first one. It should have been the first one. But, but anyway. I think because we all smoke it all the time and we're so used to it, it's like, you know, the, the good looking girl who's covered in glasses and frumpy clothes. You know, you don't think about her until, you <laughs> until know, you're like, oh, hey, right. right. <laughs> this is great. Good stuff. Right. That's right. That's right. So, anyway, um, I've been smoking Cherokee for a long time yeah, uh, me too. because of Ms. Gwen. Right. Uh, who, of course, her husband started the shop. Mm -hmm. Then when he passed, or she probably worked it anyway, right? When he was she still did. alive. Yeah. She sure did. Yep. And then she passed two years ago, or is it three? Uh, almost three now. Almost three. About two and a half, yeah. It was August, wasn't it? It was in August. Yeah. yeah. And um, anyway, she um, told me to smoke this, so I did, because you don't tell her no. And, um, you know, it's just smooth. It's... Um, it's an aromatic, is that right? It is a mild aromatic. It does not have any sweetness bite to it, though, as far as, you know, a syrupy kind of thing. It's not a syrupy tobacco. Um, I believe you told me it has a slight vanilla casing. That's right. On the burley? On the Cavendish. On the Cavendish. The Cavendish, yeah. Um, which I've never noticed. Mm -hmm. So it must be an ingredient that makes the whole thing better mm -hmm. without standing out. <clears throat> That's the great thing about Cherokee. It, Although it's classified as an aromatic tobacco, it's it's a little sweet. It's like I always refer to it as a semi-sweet tobacco. So the reason they developed Cherokee 43, 44 years ago is because folks wanted something that tasted like tobacco, was a little sweet, but something they could smoke literally all day and not get sick of. And mm -hmm. so that's that's how Cherokee was developed. And so they, they spent a long time kind of working through different recipes and um, and then finally, you know, through feedback from customers and whatnot, got to got to where this was uh, this was it. And so, 
Uh, this jar, as a matter of fact, has been the Cherokee jar for probably a good 15 years. Wow. So I'll probably break it today. <laughs> Which is how that took No, I will, I will no, break it will today. Break it. I'll break it. <laughs> but, I'll do something. Um, anyway, we used to have... So, Cherokee is a really simple blend. It's a Virginia Cavendish mix. Um, and, and it's just been one of our best sellers for a long time. Really cool story about Cherokee. Um, one of this is this is true. One of our customers was actually smoking Cherokee uh, back in the '80s in Tokyo, and was walking down the street smoking his pipe. And a guy stopped him on the street and said, "Is that Cherokee no way. from Jackson, Mississippi?" You are lying. And I'm dead serious. Wow, that's a real thing. <laughs> that actually happened. So it's just got a really nice aroma to it. Uh, it's one of those that has a nice tobacco flavor. So. Um, but then also a little semi-sweet, a uh, little semi-sweet, little vanilla. So um, it's just a real nice. You don't get sick of it. You don't get sick of it, and you can taste it all over your tongue. It's like, you know, you have the sweet and the different areas. Like, it, it, la it lingers on the back of my tongue sometimes. Well, and my experience, too, In is a good the, way. the flavor changes a little bit with Cherokee. And I've noticed, I've remembered that even a little bit today as I've smoked this bowl. But... I do notice that on the front end you get a little more of the sweet, but then as it goes through the bowl, as it kind of bakes in that chamber a little bit, it tends to tends to mellow out. You get more of those. Um, I don't know. It, it's it's got notes that it it just kind of changes, becomes a little more tobacco-y, maybe a little more grassy, but you still have those little sweet bits that are in there. So. Um, it's, really, well, it's really nice. It's really nice. It is really nice. And almost everyone who comes on in here, it seems like, will say, oh, I need some Cherokee. I yeah. need some Cherokee. You know? yeah. And, of course, all the other blends uh, get ordered as well. But I think everyone needs to have a Cherokee backup Yeah. at all times. Because what happened was I came in here, Justin was in here, and, you know, I'm just not calm today. <laughs> And uh, I'm not, I mean, this is a struggle right now to stay what? in this Sorry. frame. <laughs> but anyway, so I, I told just he asked me how I was doing. I was like, I don't know. You know, I don't even know what to smoke today. And I told him what I had, and he said, Cherokee. Whenever you don't know what to smoke, smoke Cherokee. And he's right. He's really right. It's mm -hmm. something that, you know, you just always kind of come back to. And that, that's why we sell it by the pound. You know, our ancient scale here that's been here since the Johnson administration, you know, I mean, it, this has weighed so much Cherokee over the years. Um, it's just it's something that people come in and you know sometimes they'll get one or two pounds of it at a time you know so um it, it's it's a good tobacco interesting story as well um we used to have three different cherokees there used to be a cherokee number one a cherokee number two and cherokee number three cherokee was named such because that was the street that uh, our founder grew up on east cherokee street in brookhaven mississippi oh um and so she just had very fond memories of that you know, neighborhood down there. Brookhaven is a, a beautiful town. And so uh, named it after after that. Um, so they had three different Cherokees. What happened is Cherokee number two became by far the best seller. And so that is today's current Cherokee. What I'm smoking now used to be called Cherokee number two. And a matter of fact, we still have customers that will come in and ask for Cherokee number two, which is kind of funny. Wow. Cherokee number one uh, also sold well, although not as good as Cherokee two. And we renamed, probably in the late 80s, early 90s, we renamed Cherokee number one Choctaw. And that's because we have a, a large population in Mississippi of um, Choctaw Indians. And the matter of fact, the Mississippi Band of Choctaw Indians is just right up the road in Philadelphia, Mississippi. A uh, big part of our state's culture and all that. So we wanted to honor them, and so we have a Choctaw. Cherokee number three, um, never sold, and so they got rid of it. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. So that's that's how that developed. Okay. Know, Interesting. Anyway. So this is, you know, if you would have asked for this tobacco 30 years ago, you would have asked for Cherokee number two. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, I like Cherokee number two, and I like Choctaw. Mm -hmm. And then what they've done is they mix half Cherokee, half Choctaw, and named it Indian Outlaw. Because it's Some half of Cherokee you will and get Choctaw. Let it sink in. You'll get it. <laughs> All right. Well, I think we've talked enough on that. This has been a long video yeah. already, has it? Yeah. Yeah, so, it kind of has. Uh, has it been two minutes? Oh, wow. I don't know. It really has been. <laughs> yeah, it's a long video. Yeah. So we're not going to talk about the little pipe that could. Mm -hmm. We'll do that again maybe next week. Mm -hmm. And we were going to – no, we talked about Cherokee and the um, contest. Yep. So we're good. And, yep. of course, as usual, my pipe went out. Yep. Because – 
for some reason, only one hand that doesn't cut it. So listen, all you guys, we appreciate you and you take care. We really do. Real quick, remember to subscribe, like, share, and let us know. And let us know. Messages, okay? <laughs> Bye, y'all. All right, you guys take care.